to tie a sulfur nymph, and I'll show you a new technique that I have. We start with a 2302 Tiemco in a size 14. The bead I've got here is a, oh, what is that? A 1.5 millimeter tungsten gold bead. Thread I'm using is 17 knot uni in white. It only comes in white. I tie the thread in, bring it back to the butt of the hook. And I've got some boar's hair. I like this stuff because it's, uh, it's naturally split. So it looks like tails right off the bat and it's real tough stuff. And I got a bunch of it. And I just like the way that it looks. We'll tie it in at that butt section and adjust the length. I wrap down the rest of the uh, hair up to the front and then trim. I take my thread back into my tie in point. I've got two pieces of dyed peacock curl. I use any color, this just happens to be golden yellow or golden brown. And I'm tying it in by the tips. Now I don't go to the very end of it. Ah, I, I need a little bit of meat. So I've got like uh, two, three inches from the very end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this peacock curl and wrap it. And so I want the fuzzy stuff, real bushy stuff. So I'm going to wrap it in concentric wraps with each wrap butting up against the next one. And you don't have to be very fussy about this and you'll brush back the little filials as you bring it to the front. Now, in the past, we've either just left it this way or we'll take something and pull it over a strap over the top of it. Well, I got this neat little trick. I'm going to wrap this. As you can see, I'm taking the little hairs and brushing them back. I'm going to tie it off, tie up the peacock. And trim off the rest of the stem of that peacock. I'm going to take a bit of saliva and I'm going to brush down those, that peacock curl on the top. And the reason I tie off here, a wet finish here, is because I'm going to use an electric eraser over the top and sometimes it'll take the thread. So just to make sure I've got it tied off. So I've wet my fingertips and I'm taking an electric racer across the top of the back of the fly. And what it does is exposes the stem section of the peacock curl. 
So I get that nice segmentation across the top. And just as, a, just as just an electric eraser. Now usually we take wire and put it through that, uh, wrap it down so it doesn't break off or breaks off in the fish's mouth with its teeth. But I'm just going to take a little bit of UV resin and spread it across the top. There I'm just blowing off the excess dust from the eraser. And if you take a real close look at this, you see that you'll get the segmentation for both pieces. It's pretty slick. What's nice about UV resin is that it's self-leveling. Now I'm not bringing it all the way across the top because I still need to put the wing, wing case and thorax in there on the fly. But you can see I've got a nice light coating. You can see the segmentation from the stems. I'm going to hit it with my laser and cure my UV resin. Now I've got a piece of medallion sheeting that I've cut into an eighth inch strip and I'm going to use it as my wing case. And then I've got some sulfur colored CDC and a little pedigene tool. I'm going to split that 17 knot thread and create a dubbing loop. The trick with this is to let it flatten out, let that bobbin sit, and then smooth it with your bodkin and just poke at the middle. And it does it every time. 17 odd uni splits really easily. And it's strong enough. This is my pedaging tool. I like doing this. Granted, it's 17 knots kind of whack, but. I get no buildup, which is what I'm after. And it's strong enough to, to hold, the, to hold the, uh, the feathers, the fibers of the CDC, with no bulk. And I brush back the CDC as I wrap. Now, I like to build up most of my CDC to the back of that thorax so I don't crowd the head. I always have problems with crowding the head. But it leaves a little bit better opening up at the front. Now I'm going to pull my splitter apart and pull my medallion sheeting up across over the top. Got hung up on the back camera stand. Tie it off and then trim with my little concave nippers. and then whip finish. Now 
And I'm going to touch up my thread, trim my thread off, and touch it off with a AD marker. Just a brown. Just for your own information, that medallion sheeting, you can make your own. If you'll take some zing wing, color two pieces of it, color it on one side, and take shugu or spray glue, take another piece of zing wing, and put it on top of it, and laminate together, that's medallion sheeting. And I take a little bit of UV resin, coat my wing case, bring it back into the abdomen section, and up over the bead. And then once again, hit it with my UV light. I'm going to trim a little bit in between just to get a little more separation with the legs. And that's my sulfur nib.